Anthony's vlog, June 26, 2016. I was taking Bentley for a walk. It's rather hot outside, so he wanted to get in the shade and cool down and relax a little bit. And I thought, since I have my cell phone, I'd go ahead and take this opportunity to just record a quick vlog for you and get a couple of things off my chest, answer a couple of questions. Earlier this week, I was talking to a man named Dustin, uh, Dustin Ray, and he's currently under attack and has been for a little while now, and he wanted to know, why him? He has very little to do with the doll. He reads about it on occasion when something comes up on Facebook that I posted in my community group about Harold. But other than that, you know, he really has nothing to do with it. And, you know, he talks about being a Christian, but things have been happening to him that really just, <laughs> he was telling his mother about it. His mother told him she was, that he was drinking too much. So, you know, it's the kind of thing that I hear all the time. And we were talking about that, and he admitted to me that when he first saw Harold on a certain ghost hunting show, when it was at the Island of the Dolls, that when he heard the stories, he thought they were a bunch of BS, and that I was the one BSing the guys, the stars of the show. Now, again, I just want to go on the record for a quick minute and say, I never told anyone associated with the show that the doll cannot be burned. It's a hoax. It's a myth. Has anybody tried to burn the doll? Not that I'm aware of. It was part of the original listing of the doll on eBay, but the original seller admits that that was a hoax. Okay. Uh, another thing that was said was don't look into the doll's eyes, otherwise you'll die. Somebody looked into the doll's eyes, uh, a friend of the former owner, and he died of a brain tumor short time later. Let me just state for the record, never happened. I never told him that either. Okay. But I can see why people would think that I'm the one, you know, spreading all that nonsense. I still get people asking me just a few days ago, somebody asked me, well, what will happen if you look directly in a doll's eyes? Somebody wrote back nothing. And um, I wrote back, I agree, nothing at all happened. Does that mean there's nothing to the doll or the activity going ar um, around, going on with the doll? No, the doll, there is something going on and I talk about it in my book. I talk about how I went from being totally skeptical to believing that it was haunted to finding out the truth about the doll. So it's another question I get that I want to address right now. So why did I write the book? Wasn't it just to make a fortune off the paranormal fire? <laughs> Folks, if I gave the money I made from that book, which I self-published, and still haven't recouped the money from the self-publishing, I think I might have recouped the money for the doll I paid for the doll back in 2004. But if I were to give the money that I made since that book's been published, um, without subtracting the self-publishing costs, the marketing, all that other good stuff, uh, it wouldn't change the life of the counterperson at McDonald's. It wouldn't even cause them to quit for a week to you know, go blow the money. It really wouldn't. I wrote the book because, and I didn't write it for about two or three months after everything was said and done, even though I had mentioned to uh, Jane, Vincent's mom, that I was thinking of writing the book because one day it hit me, I hadn't seen anything similar in the literature. And when I wrote the book, I wanted to provide as much evidence as I could to substantiate and support the things I was talking about. Did I leave out evidence? Absolutely. You, you bet. And if I write a second book, if I write a second book, you'll know why. But the evidence that I provide is like 20-something plus pages of pictures. 
uh, that were uh, taken as the things happened, okay? There was one more thought I wanted to share, but it just escaped me, so I think I'll leave it there for right now. Um, you know, again, it's kind of funny because recently I was asking about evidence supporting the claims of some well-known, quote, possessed doll, and nobody could come up with any. It's all just stories. No pictures, no, you know, video, no recordings, nothing. And again, what I was going to say just came and left. So I'm going to leave it at that, and if I remember, I'll record another vlog. But thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me here. Thanks for letting me vent. And uh, God bless, and I wish you the very best life has to offer. I'll do another one of these vlogs here in the next couple of days. Thanks again. Bentley, say goodbye. Bentley. Bentley. Okay, never mind. Goodbye, everyone.